Hey everyone, it's Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am playing, so I hope that you enjoy playing along with me. I got a new jelly plate, a three by five size, and I'm really excited to play with this. Um, it was a swap that I did with uh, one of you, so thank you. But um, so a little one, you know, I have a bigger one if you've been watching my channel. And this video is sponsored by Life's Craft. You can find the link to the shop below. They have a lot of stencils, dies, embossing folders, paper crafting supplies, all sorts of amazing things. And they sent me some. Um, I've showed you these inks in the last video that I did for them, but I didn't, I think I used the blue and the brown. I haven't used the yellow and the black. But I'm going to use them again for today's project. We're going to be making a journal card fronts, um, three by five size. And I'm going to be using these products, but in a way you might not expect. I'm going to try them on the jelly plate to see what they do. This is an embossing folder. And yes, it embosses this beautiful design onto paper. But I want to see what happens because the more uses that we can have for our products, the better because we get our money's worth out of them. And we get to come up with a whole bunch of amazing things. So I wanna play with this um, and with the jelly plate. This is an embossing folder as well, but it's really cute because of how thin it is. It's like a border and it's this, whoa, jumping out of my hand. It's a script. So I'm gonna play with that. These are metal cutting dies, but I wanna see if they'll do a nice background for the jelly plate. This is also a metal cutting die that I'm gonna use on the jelly plate. The more things and ways we can use our supplies, the better. And here's a beautiful little stencil. So that's what we have to play with. I have my brayer and I also have a little cutting implement. I can't think of the name right now. Um, trimmer, paper trimmer. I have some white 24 pound paper. These are just cut offs from my shipping labels for my shop. And I have some brown crinkly paper over here just to set anything that gets messy. I really don't want to make a mess on my desk here. This is my filming desk. So I would rather keep the ink off of that. All right, I do not have a formula or anything yet. I just want to play and try some things. So, okay, here is the gel plate. This ink is very juicy. So I'm hoping that we can get a good coverage. Let's see what happens. I've really been loving this brayer. I had a cheaper one that I really did not like. Um, this brayer I just got at Hobby Lobby, but I had ordered one on Amazon that was pretty pathetic. So I'm happy with this one. So we have a light blue here. Let's give this stencil a try. Well, I'm gonna try this in a couple different ways. Let's pull a print. Look at that, isn't that nice? Then we can pull up the stencil and I don't know if any of it will come off if I do this or not. Oh, barely, but it could still be something, right? All right, so we have a little bit on here. happens when we pull that oh so pretty awesome take my sweater off it's getting in my way go ahead and leave that little bit of blue that's on there and add some yellow if I can get it open I really like how juicy these ink pads are I'll have links below and there's a coupon code in the description box as well It might make a little bit of green. I don't know, 
things. We'll see. Okay. Let's pull and just see what it does. I am not that great with a jelly plate. I'm always having to experiment. That's cool for a background. Hmm. Let's add some yellow and some blue. The hardest thing about this being little is it's kind of hard to hold on to while you use the brayer. It moves around a lot more than my big one does. But I like a, how it's so small. Okay. So with this metal cutting die, I can scrub it off later, but I'm gonna kind of use it as a texture plate. Press it down, pull it up. You can see I'm gonna have to scrub that off later, clean it up when I'm done. But I'm gonna see what it does. You can see I still, I don't, I have that background, so. Do this. Ooh, that's beautiful. Can you see all the detail on that? I think I like that better than if I used it as a cutting die. All right, let's add a little more blue. Of course, I'm already getting ink on my desk. I want to try that again. Make a couple prints of these because they're going to be journal cards for some journals I'm working on. All right. What happens if I print over this background already? I'm not worried about lining it up perfectly. I'll trim them down later. That's pretty. Cool. Very nice. I'm really liking using the blue and the yellow. I'm a little afraid if I add the black or brown, I'm going to muddy things up, but it could be cool. So we won't know unless we try. Let's. Wow. That is juicy. That is so awesome. Well, it just wants to slide everywhere. I wonder if it's this background. What could I put it on so it doesn't slide? Like something silicone or some fabric. Hmm. Let me see if I have something so it's not sliding around. I don't know if I have anything available here. You could try this. It's just a little upholstery fabric sample but I'm wondering if it wouldn't slide around on that. Oh, that's better. Look at this. This is a metal cutting die for a background die, but what happens when I use it on this? I don't know that I pressed that in hard enough. We will find out. Ooh, that's pretty. I bet if I pressed that in even harder. It's hard to talk and do this at the same time. Are you ever that way? You're working and you're thinking and I am. All right, so to get a better impression, I'm gonna have to brayer it right into the gel plate, I think. I don't know if that will be any better. Oh yes, oh, that's gorgeous, look at that. As a background, whew. Pretty. And that was just putting yellow on it to lighten it. I'm going to do that again. And then just pull a print and see what it does. I could do this all day. We still have a few more to try. That's just a fun little background. 
didn't show much. All right. Let's add a bunch of yellow. Okay. And then I'm going to use an embossing folder to add some script. And see what that does. Maybe over this background. Ooh, that's cool. And what happens if we do it this way? Add a little bit of brown. So I think about brown when I think about script. Kind of a vintage color. And then I'm just using it like I would a stamp. Oh, that is so cool. All right, let's try our last embossing folder. And I hope that this just inspired you to play with all your paper crafting supplies to shop, of course, from Life's Craft because they have some great items, but to play and just enjoy yourself. Experiment, take this holiday time to play with those things you haven't had the time to play with. Oh, wow, look at that. Oh, that is so gorgeous. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I'm going to pull one more print just at the end here to see what it does. For fun. Huh. Great texture. Look at that texture. And if there's any ink left on it, we'll pick it up so that it's ready for our use next time. I hope this gave you a little bit of inspiration. I know it wasn't a super chatty video, but I'm really loving some of these backgrounds. And I will use my paper trimmer just to trim them down. And then I can use them as backgrounds in collages, as journal cards, things like that. They're beautiful. So... Thank you, Life's Craft, for sponsoring this video, and I'll see all of you next time.